Hey everybody, Norm from Tested here. Now behind me is Monster Palooza 2018, one of my favorite conventions of the year in that convention hall, <laughs> packed full of booths with sculptures, collectibles, makeup demos, and one of my favorite things, resin kits. Kits I can take home and paint myself. Now for those of you out there who aren't here at Monster Palooza, several of these artists have kits that they're gonna sell online, so we're gonna check in and show you some of those so you can pick some up for yourselves. Let's go check it out. So some of you tested viewers out there might recognize Dominic Quick, who we've worked with before. You've done some VR sculpting with us. Yes. And we yes. love check, checking in with you at Monster Palooza to see what new items you have. Uh, what new things you have in terms of kits and finished products? Okay, so this year round, I just released my latest piece called Sentinel. Um, we're doing both painted and unpainted. So that's the resin kit for people who like to paint resin yes. kits. That's you and Frank. Um, Comes in three parts um, and just really, just just a really cool casting. Um, and I'm also doing painted stuff now. So for folks who don't like painting and just would like a, a final painted piece of my work, um, I'm selling painted versions as well at the show. We saw your skulls a couple years ago. Yeah. Beautiful collection. This scale. These seem bigger. Are you getting more ambitious? I think that's the plan. Over time, like grow, get bigger and bigger. But definitely, that's that's on the roadmap. I want to do bigger stuff for sure. And one of the things that you should keep on doing is all those nooks and crannies, like that skull you have over yeah. there. It's so much fun to paint because you have all those little holes and recesses to do your washes in. I know. I think people get a kick out of just doing the washes. You know, especially like you mentioned. Uh, and a lot of my work is really focused on that, trying to get like a really nice and detailed sculpt. Um, but yeah, I, I'm glad that people like it. I'm glad that you guys did that uh, that session with the skulls, and I hope you guys do more. We definitely want to do more. Are yeah. uh, you going to have hopefully have leftover stock after Monster Palooza? People can find online. Yes, just go to my website at uh, dequack.com. Um, you can find all my products online. Awesome! It's great to see you, Dom. Thanks a lot, Dom. Appreciate it. I'm here with Miss Monster Mel at Monster Palooza, and as your moniker suggests, you are a creator of monsters. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And so we've loved painting your mask before, we love your resin kits. Mm -hmm. What new monsters do you have here this year? So this year I've got the Fafnuffs, who are brand new, and I have the unpainted and the painted versions. And then I have the Nipnogs here. And so these, there's two different ones. The mouths don't open and close, because that's a lot of work with the hinges. But uh, you've got the closed mouth version, open mouth version and I do have uh, blank versions that are available that's online only so they're adorable how did you come Thank up you. with the idea for these type of creatures so these guys it was a joke between my boyfriend and I he was like doing like this kind of motion and I was like what is that like but and so we were like it's like a little monster like biting you but they're really yeah. dumb because they're trying to bite but they're too stupid and so we had this whole lore about them so like when they open their mouth they can't see anymore because their mm -hmm. eyes are behind them, so they just sort of launch themselves at things and they always miss where they're biting. They're very stupid. They try, but I'm not quite sure how they're surviving being that dumb. But, they're but they super, look cute, so it's super okay. adorable. I love Thank the you. eyes or have that glossy yeah. look to them with a uh -huh. little bit of uh, epoxy. And they're, they're, they're kind of, well, it's a glass dome, it's a cabochon dome. Oh, okay. And you do a little dot and then you back it with a gold paint oh. and then boop, all done. Wow. And that's like a cool reflective sort of quality. And I love how the eyes sort of like, like they're walleye. They're, yeah, not the smartest. Another cool thing you do is in your castings, you use translucent resin. Mm -hmm. So that does some of the work for you when yep. you're painting. Mm -hmm. But you're doing something new this year with some of the tinting. Yes, yeah, so check this out. So I use uh, Smooth On 326, which is like a clear resin. And so you can dye it with the, the little dyes. But then you can mix in this really cool glow powder. Check this out. This is the coolest thing ever. Oh, look at that. Whoa. And same with these guys, too that guy and that guy and so you just mix it in with your resin and you can paint over it if you're a little bit selective about your dry brushing so you can kind of see how it's lighting up and I also did it with this mask here I did a translucent cast and then added the glow powder So if you put it out in the sun and you come inside, it's going to glow super bright. That is super neat. And that means for the painting, you can focus more on like dry brushing. Mm -hmm. Don't need to cover it up with washes or anything. Yeah, actually, you know what? With the washes, I do an alcohol, a rubbing alcohol, mix a little bit of acrylic ink in it, mm -hmm. and then you just make a wash, and then you wipe it, 
with a cloth, and then you have this really nice like relief where you can see the details, but the stuff will just still shine through. That's really cool. Yeah. Awesome. It's great to see you, Mel, here great at Palooza. And for people out there, these are all on your website? Yes, they are. MissMonster.com. Great. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thanks for stopping. All right, so I'm here with Alfred Fredes, whose day job is a sculptor at Sideshow Collectibles. Yeah. You do amazing work with the iconic characters that we know and love. Yep. But here at Montepalooza, you get to show off your passion project. That's right. So we've actually painted some of your kits before, but yeah. let us know what's new here. Well, this year I brought in some sort of made up B-movie monsters. So these are my little guys, kind of like, I love classic uh, movie monsters and like all the old black and white sci-fi, retro sci-fi is my, one of my favorite things. So I kind of made these cool little dudes. This is one of my sort of homages to a classic, uh, you know, sort of terrible monster movie uh, for, called Robo Monster. I've got a cool little floating brain guy here. And then my take on the slime creatures that you nice. see in movies, like the blob and other things. So this is my sort of version of that. And of course, every B-movie monster has to have a B-movie poster. So these guys all come with posters. Uh, so when you buy one, you get the poster as well. That's awesome. Uh, and then I also did a whole line of what I'm calling crypto botany. So <laughs> very this, provocative, yes. plant-like creatures. Yeah. So just like we have like you know cryptozoology with all these like animals that don't exist. These are plants that don't exist, but my versions of like carnivorous plants all using the proper like you know latin names and all the stuff for these types of plants but my own sort of made up variations of them and so I, i've got these in painted and unpainted kits they've got the fluorescent resin so that they glow under black light like really fun stuff uh, for what i love is that this is all your personal time your passion projects leading up to this event you do all the casting you do all the painting yeah. Yeah. This isn't outsourced. Nope, nope. This is all me on my personal time, all hand sculpted. I do all the molding casting, just like you said. It's all late nights, you know, after work. But it's what I love to do. And so I get, you know, instead of doing superheroes and that stuff, what I do for my day job, I get to do just the thing that I want, which is, you know, silliness. What I what I consider silliness, which is all these fun things that uh, I love. And they're great to see in person, but people are not here at Monster Palooza. You can still pick these up online? Yes, absolutely. Go to apsculpturestudio.com and you'll find all of these guys available. I ship all like around the world, so yeah, check them out. Awesome. It's great to see you here. Always a pleasure, Norton.